and this is a uh, turbo antenna this is a wireless uh, antenna it's supposed to be uh, one of the best there is it is uh, 2200 milliwatts 2.2 watts I have never seen this kind of adapter it doesn't really say the power on it but uh, it's supposed to be uh, 2.2 watts so I don't know connects directly to antenna so there is a uh, very little loss in the connection and it's just tuned by turbo antenna turbo antenna not antenna and if you're wondering why it's like out of the package and they didn't unbox it is because that's how it actually came it just came in uh, envelope like this which I don't really like because uh, it might you know get damaged I mean it's aluminium but still the card is like very exposed in here and so is the driver's CD and everything so that's like a really huge downside which I don't like because uh, delivery people they always damage things they just drop them they throw them so um, but hopefully it's gonna work and it's not damaged but uh, we'll see we are just uh, unwrap the plastic and try to assemble it I have uh, unwrapped the stuff now and one of the things that uh, you should look um, if you buy something is uh, the quality this kind of paper well yeah it's just a uh, normal plastic really but the way it was wrapped around the antenna it's uh, it's the vacuum what they use they like uh, heat the, heat this plastic up and then they vacuum it probably or just heat it up uh, well the point is that it's not easy you can't do this at home there's no way you can put this plastic around this antenna the way it was it's in the vacuum inside its vacuum probably or if it's not then uh, at least it's uh, really tightly put around and it's professional stuff you can't do it in home so you need some machinery for that and that actually shows that uh, this is a quality product and another thing is a driver CD some of the cheap stuff just comes with a blank CD but this one look at that they have spent quite a lot to do this well not a lot but still cheap things and unreliable things don't come with such effort they don't put any effort in the packaging or uh, the driver CD well again this wasn't in the package but still the plastic around it it was wrapped nicely so uh, you can't do this with uh, cheap equipment so hopefully it really is as good as they say it is right now I'm actually using pretty powerful uh, devices I have a 2 watt uh, alpha adapter and another one is 1 watt alpha adapter but this is supposed to be 2.2 uh, so um, it's supposed to be better than all of my equipment and of course the antenna I have never used this uh, Yaki type antennas so hopefully this is going to do the trick and be better than any of my other antennas well except maybe the big one what I have but it's not very practical I have a 24 uh, decibel antenna it's really really huge one I mean literally it's huge it's bigger than uh, bigger than this uh, 42 inch TV or about the same size actually so uh, anyway that 40 uh, 24 decibel antenna it's just good on uh, open areas I can't really use it inside I can't put it on the window because it's simply too big but this one I don't know about this should be very practical you can just stick it out of the window or to whatever doesn't seem really uh, weatherproof but I can always rub some plastic around it in case I do want to put it out of the window but uh, I'm not really worried about that I just want to see the performance and I'm gonna try to attach this thing looks like uh, there's a hole in here <coughs> and this just uh, screws in there I guess well, let's try and I have to hold the camera with one hand so uh, uh, but I think it goes just in there like this
No, I don't think they're over there. Well, no, it's like, uh, it looks like it's like touching the guard. I don't know. No, it's not actually touching the guard. It's very, very close, but... I don't like this. Why, w why would they do something like this? Why would they put it in here? Or on the other side somewhere? Definitely not, not like this. Oh, anyway, it's uh, there. It's not touching the card, it's just touching the plastic under it. I mean, not the plastic, the... What is it called? This uh, crypting, crypt paper, or whatever it is. Okay. So, um, have I touched this? It looks like these legs can't even uh, go more. Which is pretty awesome. I guess this one is the front one to hold the weight. So uh, let's put it up. It's not even standing. What the hell? He's trying to hold it with another hand. Okay, now it's standing. Whoops! Nope. That was bad. How is it supposed to stand? Then? What the hell is going on? Uh, these legs that uh, do not go more than that. And maybe this is supposed to be in here, like this. Yep, I think it's supposed to be like that instead, like that. Two legs in front, yeah, definitely. Or well, maybe not. It's still like really, really easy to fall over, you know. It's like, see, it's not balanced. I don't know how it's there. Uh, how it's supposed to be. Okay, this is better, I guess. And this thing on the other side, I think this is to tighten it up. Uh, not how it's supposed to go. It's not moving at all. Okay, now it's better. It's falling again. One of the legs is uh, longer a little bit, so uh, definitely has something to do with it. But I think it should be like this, from something like this. And it also can go on the side, which uh, goes like this. To change the angle of it. Anyway, I will connect it up. Uh, it's not just tightened up, that's why it's like this. I will connect it to my uh, PC and see uh, the performance of it. And I will show you the results with a screen recorder so compared to the other adapters and uh, run some tests and see uh, what's it all about and what you're seeing right now is uh, cracking of a web network I took a web just as a test and the network I am uh, trying to crack right now uh, was out of reach before. I mean, not out of reach. I did detect it and I saw it, but uh, it was uh, uh, impossible to actually do anything with it. It was simply um, not working. It was very slow, sluggish. Well, it's not the best right now, but as you can see, it's giving results. And where I have the antenna is uh, up there. Well, it's a bit uh, exposure. There you have it. It's like uh, not exactly out of the window because I have a park net in there. I have to remove it. But again, this is definitely a lot better antenna than the ones I already have, which is the alpha ones. Well, not the antennas actually. You can see the big one up there. It's a bit dark in there. But it's right there. So uh, this is definitely better. I'm sure the big one will work better in... Uh, good environment if I could put it like uh, on the roof or a balcony or something but uh, it's not like you're gonna put the antenna like this it's gonna look a bit weird you know but my point is that this antenna is performing a lot better already and this is just the initial test I haven't tested it against um, connection but I will soon and see how it's gonna perform I haven't even turned my uh, main computer on it's a bit dark in here 
so I haven't even connected it in the Windows, I just put it on my uh, other PC. Just uh, connected it up and uh, ran a few tests in Linux.